Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very, very happy to see you again and I'm very glad you're here. Today's topic is this is how you find your passion. I wanna to start today's video by sharing where this topic came from. I've been sitting down and getting back into the writing flow, definitely need to get back into the reading flow, that'll come soon, and then obviously making content. So when I was sitting down and just really journaling about everything going on in my life, clearing my thoughts, making sure that I'm focused, I was thinking today, man, I'm not really getting any downloads. I don't really want to do any videos. You know, what's going on? I don't, I don't really do this, but I made a commitment to get back into making content and gave myself a 30 day challenge. So no matter what, I was going to make a video. Then I thought about it and I said, well, look, man, why are you making these videos? Do you do what do you want to do? And then I thought about me getting on camera. I thought about writing my thoughts out on paper. And what I realized is that this is, I'm doing this for so many reasons, but to me, this is my passion. My passion, this is enjoyable. Literally writing down my thoughts, pen to paper, is such a therapeutic experience. I'm telling you, it sounds weird, but just writing out my thoughts, putting the pen on the paper, it literally feels good to me to have the pen on the paper. It's like a a tactile cathartic sensation to be able to get everything off my chest and out of my mind on the paper. So what I wanted to talk to you about today and where this came from is this is my passion. This is what makes me feel good is teaching, is sharing, is learning and speaking and writing. This is what I truly enjoy. This is my passion and my purpose or part of my purpose and why I'm here. So I wanted to share and impart some thoughts that came up to me. And of course, as I started writing and thinking about these things, I was starting to get all these ideas and downloads that I wanted to share with you. So if you feel that you are in a rut in your life, that you're bored, maybe you're depressed, you don't have anything to look for, life is just boring and you're going through the monotony and you're just scrolling all day and you're like, man, maybe you're smoking a lot, you're drinking a lot. You know, you're looking at, again, social media all day. Whatever you're doing, it's just kind of like, oh, man, I'm just so burnt out. What's going on? What am I doing? You've got to find your passion. And here's how you find your passion. And it's very simple. I'll give it to you right now in the beginning. Just do what you enjoy. What truly brings you joy in your heart. Maybe you, you're an accountant and you, uh, you know, you're a CPA and you're in the office all day, but every day you get home and you just want to play the guitar or you just want to hop on the piano or listen to some type of music, uh, or maybe you do like to read and write, or maybe you like to do oil paintings or even just sketch or draw, whatever you find yourself doing that you enjoy, simply start doing what brings you joy in your life, what brings you enjoyment into your life. When you start to bring that energy of enjoyment into your life and doing things that are pleasurable, and I'm not talking about temporary pl pleasure, right? Like, uh, you know, getting drunk or, you know, um, you know, playing video games all day or, you know, like pleasures like that. There's nothing wrong with those things. There's a time and a place and you can do them a little bit. But if you find them doing, you find yourself doing them all the time, it's a superficial pleasure. The thing that you really want to do for your passion, you'll find that when you're doing it, it brings this inner sense of fulfillment, this inner sense of peace. Time flies by. You're probably naturally good at it. You, it, it comes easy to you and you want to learn more about it. You want to do more. You want to hone and improve your craft. Do what brings you more of that type of joy. Maybe you uh, have an eye for design and what you really like to do. Maybe you're stuck in Again, uh, some job that you you don't like. There's, I mean, that's a lot of people, but you've always wanted to do interior design. You know, you're a woman who's always had an eye for beauty, and you want to want to really um, figure out how to, uh, you know, help this guy or this family design their living room for their kids, or or help this dude make his his house a really nice bachelor pad, or this uh, sweet old woman who has a lot of stuff. How can you redesign her space to make it more? you know, uh, energetically compatible, this beautiful open space with an amazing energy. You see what I'm saying? You need to, or you don't need to do anything. You're a grown adult. You make your own decisions. You do what you want to. But I would suggest is if you're in that space of boredom, of depression, of anxiety, lack of fulfillment, you feel there's something missing in your heart. You're missing the things that bring you joy in your life. 
and your energy gets to be redirected onto yourself to create more of that fulfillment, that inner peace, that enjoyment. It fills your heart. It makes you happy. This is how you're going to attract new opportunities and people into your life. You're bringing in a new, fresh energy in your life. And it starts very simply. Identify what you want to do. Maybe you always have wanted to be a musician, but your parents told you, no, they never bought you an instrument. They said, that's stupid. That's for losers, whatever. But since a little kid, you always wanted to do it. Go, I mean, just go and, and get a cheap guitar or a piano or a, you know, whatever it is. And I mean, we're on YouTube in the age of information. Ignorance is bliss, as Dr. Joe Dispenza says. So information is at our fingertips more readily available than it ever has been in the history of humanity. You can learn anything you want to learn. You can do whatever you want to do. You know, maybe you want to you have a, a talent for baking and that's how you de-stress you know, you got a, a, a busy week all week and you just want to go home and you find yourself just making cakes and cupcakes and these cool things. You know how many people are making um, a living, a fulfilled living doing that because they love it? Do what you love is my point. And so if you're in a stuck place, you start there, you do what brings you more fulfillment, more enjoyment into your life. When you start to do this, you don't need to do it in a big way. You don't need to like, Go and research and prepare. Just start small and let it build organically. Let it build and happen organically. Part of this, and I, you know, again, sitting down, writing my thoughts out today, wanted to share um, some of the notes that I wrote about it. As you do more of what you enjoy, what creates joy in your life, you attract in new opportunities, ideas, and synchronicities. One of the things I wanted to share with you, I want to give you as an affirmation that was given to me from an old spiritual mentor that I worked with. And this woman was uh, or is literally like an enlightened being on earth. And we did some amazing healing work. She opened my mind up to a lot of uh, energy work, meditation, you know, dimensional astral projection. I mean, going deep down the rabbit hole. But I wanted to give you guys as a gift an affirmation that she gave to me that I um, say to myself and especially as a light worker, as a healer, which you are and you're watching this this will be a beautiful affirmation that I recommend that you really start to ground into. The affirmation is, I am clearly and divinely guided at all times. I hear, see, think, feel, and know all that is pure, divine, great miracles, signs, visions, and messages that are meant for me so that I may be of greater service to others as well as myself. So that is it. You can replay it. I'll say it again. I am clearly and divinely guided at all times. I hear, see, think, feel, know, taste, and smell all that is pure, divine, great miracles, signs, visions, and messages that are meant for me so that I may be of greater service to others as well as myself. And so as you begin to embark on this journey of fulfillment, of discovering your passion, and it probably is linked with your purpose. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but a lot of the times it is you will begin to get breadcrumbs, signals from the universe that you are on the right track. This is what you should be going down to. That thing that brings you joy and fulfillment, that is your calling. That is your gift. That's what you're really here for. Because what you're most passionate about, what really brings you enjoyment, that is your gift to the world. That's what you're going to be best at. That's what you're going to want to get better at. That's what you're going to enjoy the most. That's what you're probably going to make the most money doing. And that's how you're going to be contributing and giving to others and fulfilling your purpose as well. They are interlinked. They're intertwined. They're one and the same. If something brings you pa uh, brings you enjoyment and you're truly passionate about it and you'll know because it fills your heart with joy. Like I'm on camera and I'm speaking. This truly fills my heart to be able to share the lessons that I've learned and I'm still learning because by no means, as you know, Lightworker, this stuff does not work, man, or it does not, uh, does not stop. <laughs> it does not work. It does not stop. There's levels to it and it never stops. It's a never ending journey. No matter how much you heal, no matter how much you learn, you can never learn and heal enough or know it all or else you wouldn't be on this planet because you would have reached Nirvana, enlightenment, fulfilled all your karmas and sh you out of here. So that's where we're all heading to. A uh, couple of things that I also wanted to share with you, if you want to make this a career or into your job and you turn your passion into your work, I've done this once in my life before and it was for a period of time and I'll share with you uh, something about that. 
So if you've watched a couple of my videos now, you've heard me refer to fitness and training. Uh, I used to be a personal trainer in my past life. Fitness is always a very big important in my life. It was a way, it was something that I've always been very good at. I've always been naturally very good with my body, understanding, having like a sixth sense about biomechanics and movement. And then I went into education behind it, learning the exercise physiology, biomechanics, anatomy, blah, 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 all that crap. Not crap, but that was a journey in and of itself where I was able to create a soulful, fulfilling business and contribute to others with something that I am was naturally um, gifted with and could contribute to. And so the story is I was uh, after college, I was waiting tables at a nice restaurant in San Diego. I was sitting there. I was like, man, you know, okay, great. I graduated. I got these degrees, whatever. I was like, but I don't want to do anything with marketing. I don't want to do anything with psychology. And of course, like I'm kind of, they just naturally, I guess are a part of me and everything I do now, but I was like, I don't want to get like a marketing job, right? I don't want to be a behavioral psychologist or, or a therapist. I don't want to do those things. So for a while, I was like in a period of depression trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I was like, man, what's going to make me happy? Because I don't want to do a nine to five. I don't want to go in the office. I tried that at that point in my life too. And after sitting there with the idea for so long, one day I was like, man, I am so stressed out. Like I'm overthinking this. I need to just go and burn off some steam. I'm just going to go do what I do. I'm going to go to the gym, break a good sweat and lift some weights, lift some weights, get this energy out. <laughs> Ding, light bulb turned on. And I was like, dang, Pierce, this is right in front of you, bro. This is, you've been an athlete your whole life. You love working out. This is how you release stress. You're really good at it. You're interested in it. Why wouldn't you do this as work? So I pursued a career in personal training. I had a, an end goal in mind. I was going to be a uh, trainer for a professional or collegiate sports team. And it's funny how when you really line up that vision and it's true to your heart, how the universe locks into place. I got a job at the gym I wanted to get at right away. Uh, turns out one of my one of my best friends that I grew up with that I played high school football with at the time was one of the assistant athletic, uh, athletic directors for USC, the University of Southern California. He got me an internship there. So I was able to get into the sports, uh, um, sports conditioning, sports and conditioning, um, strength training and conditioning uh, field very quickly and get a feel. So all that to say, that's an example of when you are aligned and something is within your heart, something that you're good at, something you enjoy, enjoy, and then you create a plan or a vision on how you want to go this watch how quickly things start to align from you align for you and pay attention to these synchronicities that's where that affirmation comes in because as the synchronicities come into play because as you know my friends now that you're awakened there are no coincidence it's just alignment and synchronicities these are breadcrumbs from the universe saying you're on the right path these are whispers from your soul saying keep going you're there you're on the way go that direction. We are here as Drake says, you know, and I know there's all this crap, but I always say this line, whatever with, oh, I don't even pay attention to all that crap. I don't even know what's going on, but there's some kind of weird crap with them. Anyways, I'm here. Uh, I'm here for a good time, not a long time, right? You remember that line? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So it was always crazy to me that, and I tell people this all the time, like family members also, like it's crazy to me that people will do this job that they absolutely hate or they don't like it all and they're miserable, but they do it because they get a paycheck and they're comfortable and they spend their whole life doing this and then they get to the end of their life so they could retire and spend the last like 20, 25 years of your life doing what you enjoy now. And to me, I'm like, this is stupid. This is like backwards. Why wouldn't, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Life, you never know what happens in life. We have all have people in our life that we've lost out of nowhere in our immediate or extended circles. And it's cliche, but it's true. Tomorrow is not promised. You never know what's going to happen. So how are you going to spend your time doing the stuff you hate being in a miserable state of being when we're really here? As you know, healer, as you know, light worker, as you know, beautiful soul, we are here to have the most beautiful, fulfilling, happiest lives and to create heaven on earth for ourselves. So why would you do something you hate for so long and tolerate it? just to enjoy the last little bit. But you know, the funny thing about that also that always tripped me out was like, you work your whole life and now you're 65 and 70, but you can't even do a lot of the things you wanted to do because honestly, you just don't have the energy to travel the world like you wanted to. You don't have the energy to climb Machu Picchu. You don't know, you know what I'm saying? 
you don't ha now you're, you're sure you might have the money and the time but now you can't do it because you lost that energy the opportunities at the time so how can you create the life that you want that's what i want for you that's what i'm doing that's what everybody that man my circle is small right now but these very few people that i'm close with now this is what we're doing create the life of joy that you want now do not wait do not wait because tomorrow is not promised and the reality is most importantly this is about you and your happiness and your vision and why i want that for you is because of this reason my purpose why i'm here and why you're here also and why you're watching this video is to raise the vibration of the planet to enhance the awareness of the collective consciousness by raising the energy level the way that we do that is we live in a state of joy abundance and peace love and happiness and health and the way that you do that is by following your joy so create the life you want around a joyful and make a joyful living so that you can afford yourself to do the opportunities now that you can do and how this permeates into the collective is when you're your happiest healthiest most fulfilling self you're living your purpose you're doing it because everybody that contact comes in contacts from you from the person who's checking your groceries out you know they're having a bad day but you're just on a good vibe you're like what's up man what's going on and you're doing it you just made that person's day but you're just being you because you're happy because you're giving to yourself you're living your purpose you are the one that's raising the vibration your energy is infectious people know it and they see it too on and also again with about the attracting synchronicities when you vibrate at a higher level because now you're taking care of yourself you're taking care of your health you're doing things that you enjoy you've got a purpose you've got a direction you become magnetic and the synchronicities increase and you begin to attract more and more of what you want into your life it's so important for this light worker that's what you're here for that's what we're here for you're here to raise the vibration but the way that you raise the vibration of the collective is you raise your own vibration you be the change you wish to see you model those behaviors you are a shining example for all of those in your circle especially if you're watching this you probably are the black sheep of your family p you're probably misunderstood uh you're probably either scapegoated or been taken advantage of all these things because that is the other side trying to bring you down and hold you back from your purpose because you know oh man we can't have all these people awaken pursuing their passion and being happy because then we can't control them and enslave their energy and doing things they hate and buy all of the crap we don't need and all these things you know this already remember what makes you happy this is your gift to the world you're good at it it's easy for you time flies and everyone benefits from being around you when you're a happier healthier person do not look to outside sources to make you happy right that's what most people do remember that your happiness is your responsibility also your thoughts emotions our feelings are your responsibility and no one else's and likewise do not take other the way people react to you personally because their thoughts their feelings their actions are their responsibility just like your feelings are your responsibility it's not your job to fix everyone you got to focus on yourself again i best serve others by serving myself first i've been saying that over and over We've been brainwashed to think that focusing on ourselves and taking care of ourselves is a bad thing. That's not true. It's quite the opposite. Because think about it like this. If you're not in a good place, if you're not taking care of your health, if you're not taking care of your money, how the hell can you show up and take care of other people? You got to put yourself first. That's the best way you take care of other people. And it's a vibrational thing it's an energy thing when you are on a high vibe doing your thing taking care of yourself man everyone around you i mean you just crossing by you getting a little little glimpse of that energy that little inspiration like that's crazy man i remember when i used to work with them and they they hated this job and they told me they were doing this and i thought they were stupid for it and then here they are they're living happy as hell you just woke that person up that old coworker, that family member dang they did it okay let me think about this for a second how can i do that okay it is possible I'm telling you man this is how we wake people up 
It's that whole candle analogy. If you got a thousand candles, you only need one lighter and one candle lit to light everyone else's candle. That's how we do. But you got to be the one to light your own candle. Hopefully, I'm helping you light your candle. There's other people helping me light my candle. We just raise up together, guys. That's how we do it. And the video that has been getting the most attention I posted re recently was that it's uh, it's your time to build and move in silence. And if you haven't watched that, I recommend you watch that because that's what this is about. Creating the life that you desire, but build in silence. Keep that vision private. It's a sacred vision. It's a gift from the divine. So that thing you have near and dear to your heart, you take care of it. You nurture it like a little baby, like a chick. Little baby can't take care of itself. You got to take care of your baby and keep it quiet. You got to not keep it. You understand what I'm saying? Keep that baby quiet. You know, you, no, nah, you don't understand what I'm saying. You have to build it in silence so it's protected because it's just in its infancy. As it grows and it grows, sure, it can it can speak for itself. It can take care of itself. Okay, now you, you know what I mean? It, it got its own power now. But it starts from this. You focus on your own vision. <clears throat> the next thing I want to say close to the last is for most of us, our purpose in life is to help people. So this goes along with how you find your purpose or you find your passion and it's linked with your purpose. It's probably a way that you can help people. And this is also how you help yourself. You can work for yourself because if you are watching this again, you're probably a light worker. You're awakened and you know damn well you can't, you don't want to be doing what you're doing anymore, man. You're around a bunch of sleepwalkers at work, especially. And you know that the like the end game for you is going to be working for yourself. You got to build a business for yourself because there are people there again, man. They're they're just going day to day asleep like one, two, three. There's nothing wrong with it. Shoot. I got tons of friends very successful that do live happy lives that are just going about their business doing that. That's great. But that is not. I'm not talking to them. I'm talking to you. You know, you're a little bit different. You've always been different. That's why you're watching this video. You've been the black sheep. You know, you couldn't work a nine to five, but you have everyone else watching these people around you who went out of college and got a job right away in XYZ industry. And now they're crushing it and blah, blah, blah. That's not you. It's never been you. It's not what you're here for. That's why you're watching this. So the end game for us is you may have to do it for a little bit. I'm doing it right now too, while I build what I want to build on the side, keeping it private. But the end game for us is working for ourselves. It's working for ourselves. And the way that we do that is find what you're, you enjoy because what you enjoy is linked with your purpose. And the purpose is how can I help people? So you got to start thinking, okay, let me just start this small. This is what I like doing, but how can I make money doing this? The possibilities are endless. And I guarantee if you're having that limiting belief of like, that'll be another video we got to do about limiting beliefs and understanding how limiting beliefs come up and how to reprogram them. So I'll make a note of that after this anyways. <clears throat> when you are coming up against that limiting belief of, oh man, I couldn't make money doing that. That's not you speaking. Again, that's the programming from society, your parents, teachers, whoever saying you can't do that. That's a bunch of BS you can. Because I guarantee, let me ask you this question. Here's how we destroy that belief right away. Whatever you want to do in life, something you enjoy, is there at least one person in the world that's doing it right now that's probably making a ton of money that lives a chill life, the exact life that you want? Do you think there's someone out there doing that? You're damn right there are. Coming up on 9 billion people on this planet, information is at our fingertips, social media is at an all-time high, marketing, everything, exposure. You're damn right there's at least one person. There's many, there's thousands, maybe millions of people that are doing exactly what you want to do, living exactly how you wish to live. So don't ever tell yourself you can't or it's not possible. That's where it starts, the possibility. Just think, is it possible there's at least one person that's out there that's crushing it like I would want to live and doing it, doing that? Is there one person out there who is, uh, you know, gets to bake cupcakes all day and just has a great business and a family life and they built this wonderful thing and they're contributing society and they get to make these wonderful treats for anniversaries and birthdays and special occasions and Christmases and all that. You're damn right. Are you kidding me? You know, make people be doing that. Is there, okay. I really like knitting dude. You know how many people make like Etsy, right? Crafts, arts, crafts, things like that. There's people out there doing it. So there's no limiting belief on that. I'm starting to turn into a rant. So we're going to cut it off. 
quotes I have today, one of them's from Oprah and the other one just came to me as I was writing this. Um, so the quote today, passion is energy. Feel the power that comes from focusing on what excites you. That's from Oprah. Reinvigorate your life. Get excited about something. And if you're not excited about anything, it's because you've lost that spark. And if you've lost that spark, it's because you're not doing enough of what makes you happy. So make you happy first. And there's a trickle down effect. I best serve others by serving myself first. And then the quote that I wrote down, I was just thinking, it's something, I was just writing it. If something excites you and makes you happy, do it. Follow that. It's a whisper from your soul, a breadcrumb on the path to your purpose. And that's the a quote from me that I, I don't know, it just came up when I was writing. If something excites you and makes you happy, do it. Follow that. It's a whisper from your soul, a breadcrumb on the path to your purpose. Do that, guys. Be happy. Make yourself happy. It's your responsibility. Ain't nobody coming to save you guys. Had that hard lesson. We pull our card for today. Three taps to clear the energy. Inhale. Woo. A little neck crack. Oh, yeah. Uh, we ask for the purest and most divine truth. For your highest good and the highest good collective, highest good, for your highest good and the highest good of the collective. Man, I'm all jacked up. I didn't have my AC on in the car today. Getting hot in here, man. We, a lot of energy going on. So we pull the card for today. Man, I just want people to please wake up. Like, you can do this. You gotta make it happen. And it's hard. It's freaking hard, but we can do it. All right, focus. Well, that's the card that comes out. Of course, this one will come out. Pulled the chariot today. I always say, if you're new to my videos, you look at the picture first before we read the message. Whatever pops up in the picture, if it's an image, uh, a specific part of the picture, a color, listen to your intuition, tune into what is coming up for you right now. Whatever is coming up for you right now, thoughts, events, ideas, write those down, reflect on them later. Look at the image. That's your soul speaking to you. The chariot, Archangel Metatron, Metatron's cube. We'll go into sacred geometry sometime too. The message is determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. The chariot. What does the chariot mean to you? We are on our journey. We're on our path. We are moving steadfastly forward into the vision of our dreams. We're creating it right now. You're on that chariot. This is your confirmation to get on your chariot. You may be at the starting line. That's okay. It really doesn't matter. As long as you get on that chariot and you start to go by following what makes you excited, things are going to start falling into place. Let's do the extended reading. Lucky number seven, major arcana card. The chariot is an indicator of great determination and willpower. You may feel uncertainty regarding your situation, but you need have no fear. When this card is present, it's your confirmation from Archangel Metatron that you have what it takes. Step out of your comfort zone and charge bravely ahead with joy and confidence. I don't make this stuff up, guys. I'm doing it on camera with you. A great leap forward is coming your way. It will take balance, self-control, and hard work, but you're ready for the task at hand. Public recognition for your success is sure to come. Allow yourself to feel pride in what you accomplish. Additional meanings of this card, career advancement, diligence, calm, control over equally important but conflicting goals. So you may be in that place where you hate your workplace. I'm, you know, it was one of the videos I made recently. You woke up, you can't stand what you work. You may have to balance those conflicting goals where you don't wanna work there, but you know you have to, to pay the bills while you create what you want outside of the workplace. That's what I got for you today, guys. It's so much love and gratitude from me and for you. I just want you to be happy and understand your power. Take it back. You're capable. You can do this. We're doing it together. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.